because the grind on here is worth it. On Rust, the grind makes you want to kill your entire family. Mark my words, I will kill this bird as soon as I find some that's triple digit. How in God's name am I freezing? How am I freezing? Can somebody tell me? I have full fur on. Full. All around, he's a pretty boy. He is a pretty boy indeed. Level 210 Pterodon right there, fellas. Next episode, I may go ahead and... Holy shit, there's sheep. <laughs>
Just die. I don't care if I die, you're dying first. All right, we got movement speed up to 110. So let's go ahead and start going for a little bit of health here. Would be, you know, amazing. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we can find up here. Since dinos do not despawn on single player, my first objective is I'd like to find, you know, find a sheet, and then I can just kind of make a mental note of it. All right, well, we got a little spot picked out by the uh, fish pond here, so let's go ahead and start getting some structures unlearned just because, well, we're going to need them and we can get to a PT saddle a lot quicker. Now let's go ahead and get ourselves just something basic down and... You know, I really wish I had the new building mechanics that are in the Ascended. Like, there are a lot of features in that that I would like to see. But at the same time, it's kind of like, yeah, just playing on the island? I don't know about that. I don't know if that sounds too good to me. Get Mortar and Pestle, and we will go ahead and make ourselves a storage box. Go to 200 stam. All right, 150, 200. Uh, let's see, weight. Eh, we can start working on 300 weight. I swear it is literally like I am starting over right now. Like it is ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous at the, uh, at the shock trying to uh, figure all this back out. It's just crazy. All right, let's go ahead and get that metal cooking. And while we're waiting on that, let's see. Let's go ahead and pump more weight. We're getting that up to 300. I don't even care what anybody says. We are getting that to 300 as fast as humanly possible. Slap the smithy down right there. All right. First up, metal tools is going to be the first thing. Let's go ahead and just get our weight up to like 350 for that fact. And yeah, the double, the good old uh, triple gathering is killer. I just got like 500 metal off of mining that by myself just with a metal pick. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a pick crossbow and then what are we gonna need for we're gonna need more wood all right oh looky here what might we have here let's see if i hit it with this spoiled meat do, 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 do. let's see what does this get spoiled meat carrots and hide let's just go ahead and go for spoiled meat to be honest why not we'll kind of split it up half and half we're gonna need keratin to get the PT saddle anyway, so why not just go ahead with it? Oh dear lord, at the amount that that gave us of just about everything. And look at there, we're already level 50. Well, from looking at the good old dodo decks, it turns out sheep are pretty uncommon up here, which I normally have had great luck finding them, which I'm gonna continue to do. You know, one last little lap around the block. All right, well, it's official. There's not a single sheep up here. So instead of doing a dino wipe, I'm just gonna accept defeat. Head back down, get some trank arrows. We're gonna find whatever PT is the highest level around here. Then I'll probably just kill a couple of Diplos or a Bronto if need be. And we'll just call it good from there. I'm not even gonna lie. I may end up turning the rates down because this is just completely ridiculous I may put it on two times I like it to be a challenge I like the grind of the game all right everybody's gonna hate me for it but I do I like the grind I enjoy it that's why I play because the grind on here is worth it on rust the grind makes you want to kill your entire family 36 trash 15 would you looky there there's more whales if i need oil i know where to come level five level seven no i am actually starting to question my sanity because i have killed no joke 
I have been counting, by the way, 12 Pteranodons because none of them have been, you know, even close. I haven't even seen one that's over level like 30. A little bit odd to say the least how everything, just about everything is like single digit levels. Will it kill it if I shoot him in the head? I'm being honest, I'm kind of scared. Three times multiplier with a crossbow, and only a level 40. It's a little nerve wracking. Are you joking? Are you serious right now? I walked around from here to Kingdom Come, and then look, one, two, three, four, five sheep spawned. Well, would you looky there, I'm not complaining. Okay, well that's just completely ridiculous. That is an ass. How much mutton do I get? Are you kidding me? And there we go. Hello, friend. Let's just go ahead and transfer all of that over to you. You can have fun with that. I was gonna look up his stats on Dodo Dex, but to be honest, I don't really care just because he's such a low level. If it was a max level or something, I would actually want to compare for breeding purposes, but I'm never breeding this thing. As soon as I get anything it's a triple digit, I'm killing this. Mark my words, I will kill this bird as soon as I find some that's triple digit, which I am yet to find, by the way, which is so confusing to me, and I, I will swear on everything I did something wrong because there's no reason at all. Crystal real quick so I can get a spyglass and get to the bottom of all this crap with... I, I just want to know. Like, what's the highest level dino I can even find right now? There would be the problem. Difficulty was set to 0.2. That explains a lot. And boom. Let's do a dino wipe now that we're on the max difficulty. What it should be, I should say at least. For you, Mr. Pterodon, you are level 25 still. Okay, that's a fluke. What about you? 15, bullshit. <laughs> Holy hell. That is a 140 Pteranodon right there, my friends. That will be our new flyer. Okay, everything seems to be how it should be now. Holy Moses. About to give me a aneurysm running around for nothing but horse shit. All around, he's a pretty boy. He is a pretty boy indeed. Level 210 Pterodon right there, fellas. There's a 130 and a 135 female right here. Not gonna lie, you know I'm about to grab it. Well, we do have a breeding pair of them. They're not gonna be max level, obviously, and I'm not gonna breed them long term, but, you know, for the time being, just for uh, having a few extras, that's not bad at all. All right, so while I'm waiting on this guy to tame, I'm actually looking on Dodo Dex right now at the bird that we're on currently, what its stats are. Health, 35 points high. Stamina, 38 points, very high. That's good. And uh, weight, average, yeah, you know, it's, it's okay. A little below average, maybe. Melee, 59 points. Very, very high. That is ridiculous. I knew it was high just from looking at it. Even I recognize that that was through the roof. But, you know, high melee, high stam, and high health and average weight. High stam, that's good. Perfectly fine with that. Let's go ahead and look at your stats, shall we? All right, so health, high, stam, again, very high. Weight is even shittier somehow. And melee, again, very high. So, you know, two good stam birds is fine. I'm never gonna complain about having two good stamina birds. 150 female? Don't mind if I do. I can still get 100% taming effectiveness, get all the levels and get a perfect 224 with prime meat. Who needs mutton? 
Next episode, I may go ahead and... Holy shit, there's sheep! And there we go. Perfect. 224. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here. All right. Well, we might have just stumbled onto an absolute tank here. Because Stam, 38 points, very high. We already had that, right? Correct. Weight, very high. 46 points. Get this. Weight and Stam. It's all you need on a Pterodon, all right? Health average, 31. Who gives a shit? Melee, 73 points. Very, very high. Holy Moses. Very high weight, very high stam. Happy, happy, happy. Well, now I'm not sure what to do because I mean, I have two 135s and then a perfect tame, which is through the roof. Both of you are really good. Don't get me wrong. Both of you are really, really good. It's just that Max here is so much better. It's not even close. He has it all. He has, he, he just has everything. Take our gunpowder out of there. We already got our long neck. Let's make 15 simple bullets. Then we will start working on some tranks. And then the next step's really just giving me an RG to be honest. Um, that's just really the next step. I gotta have something that can carry some weight. Because honestly, I don't have anything crazy important, but you, I just gotta have one to begin with. Um, no matter what happens, I'm gonna need one, so why not get it now and be able to take at least a little stuff with me. Listen, there's a level 20 trike right here. If you think I'm not gonna tame it, you're out of your mind because I have so much spool meat and not enough berries. So if I can just get him, then we're perfectly fine. Does anybody think that five trank arrows will knock him out? Do we think that five trank arrows will knock him out? Dodo Dex, let me know. Uh-oh, it didn't work. It didn't work. I'm out of arrows. Where are the narcotics at? Oh, I read it wrong. That's why it didn't knock it out. It says headshot is 0.15 times, so it would take 23 if they're headshots. If they're not headshots, it's four. I forgot that tracks have the, you know, damage reduction on their face. All right, so crops are going to take 13. That's not bad. I got crops literally right here and everywhere around here. So, and it only took three. Would you look at that? All right, let's get Buddy a few uh, potatoes to uh, munch on, and then we will really start doing some farming. How are these water skins? Can I make a jar? Is that is that a possibility? Scope is 20 crystal depletes to my gun. 21, would you look at that? We can make a scope. I'm gonna have to turn this down to two. It's gonna drive me crazy that it's so easy. And people are going to cuss me out because they're like, oh, I play on 20X. Well, good for you. If you want 20X servers to where, you know, you know, you kill one penguin, you get enough polymer to build, you know, some, some tech bullshit, then that's up to you. But I like to enjoy the game somewhat normal, just a little bit boosted. All right. I would do just completely vanilla. But completely vanilla is really just... Some of the stuff on vanilla is... God, it's a pain. Now then, let's see if we can make 100, 200, and 15. There we go. Let's see. All right, well, we're going to be sitting here for a while waiting on that. Might as well go do a metal run real quick. All right, there we go. I put gathering and XP all the way down to two because this is driving me crazy. That's much better. It's still double, but I'm I'm fine with that. To be fair though, even on one on one X multiplier, like a note run and then you know XP farming some baby dinos, levels aren't really the handicap. It's blueprints getting boss fights and really just everything else is what drags you down to be honest all right we got 100 wood and then roughly 150 to 300 in each furnace cooking that'll get us 
bunch of metal along with... Oh my god, this is still crafting. Are you joking? Oh lord. Okay then. Well, um, maybe another mortar or pestle might not be a bad idea. <laughs> and we get 30 trank darts. There we go. I forgot about this. We can go straight to flat now. I keep forgetting, like, the blueprints are not the holdup, really. Even cryopods are right there. And just like that, we are in flak. May not be upgraded anyway for blueprints, but still, flak is flak. What time is it? Ugh. It's 5 a.m.? Are you kidding me? I've been... It took, I started it, this whole process at midnight. It took me two hours to get everything set up. And then, oh God, I've been playing this for three hours. Um, yeah, it's five. I have to be up in like an hour, two hours for work. So um, thank you, Art, for one more giant kick in the balls as usual. Um, only difference is this time it actually affects my life not just my mental health like the game this is IRL damage that's about to just inflict all right so it is the next day fresh start here we go I am dying I am so tired but here we are it's the next day I'm looking at spawn map for Argentavis's and Close wise, the snow is the best bet. So, we are just gonna make ourselves some fur. And that's what we're going to do because that is the easiest way to do it and not get killed. Because the other closest spot is like right above the wyvern trench and I am not, not doing that because off camera, I did a little bit of just metal farming, getting stuff cooking, narcotics, and all this stuff right in here. But anyway, I ended up almost getting killed. Also went ahead and made ourselves a simple pistol with some ammo to help us out there. Got a few more uh, darts as well. Let's go ahead and get some of this, and we'll be able to not have to worry basically about our mutton spoiling and it'll last longer in here and I turned on my marker on the map because I don't know why that's not a default setting I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be but anyway we're gonna go on the map where I've been looking which is right up here it's not too far in snow I went and kind of scouted it out and it was not a fun time because I did not have fur little known fact I should have been recording <laughs> but when I made it out of there by the time I made it out of the snow I was on seven health that's how close we came to having an issue I know that Uteranus do spawn up here as well the snow is always a dang dangerous place oh looky there there's already birds how in God's name am I freezing how am I freezing? Can somebody tell me? I have full fur on. Full. How am I freezing? Does anybody want to explain this to me? And not just freezing. That's a 130 and that's a 25. I hope he makes it out of this alive. Because that 130 is getting tamed. How am I freezing this incredibly fast? Can somebody explain this to me? Full fur. Don't even matter. I repaired my torch for a reason. Does this help at all? Okay. Is it? Oh, no. I'm going to freeze either way. Great. Fun. Always a fun time. Would you kill the wolf? I don't have time to stay here in this crap. I'm about to freeze my ass off. Come on. We're almost there. We're almost there. Over here. Come on, buddy. Hey, come over here. Get back. I'm over here. Oh. Oh my god, we got him. Oh, let's just sit here and take a deep breath. Holy smokes. 
Oh, shoot. <gasps> we are going to just get away. No miss clicks. We're just going to take a step back, take a deep breath. I think RGs have a three times multiplier on their head, I believe. Well, he's already trying to run. So, I'm going to go with yes. So, I headshot him twice while he was flying at me. We got no chance of killing him like this, so let's see if I can get a headshot. No, he's low. He's already running. There we go. All right. There's mutton right here. Tell you what. I'm going to get mutton off of this dude. And then... I'm going to just pick some narco berries because it'll probably get the job done. All right. What are we going to get off of that? 75%. Fifth, 12, 15 minutes, 15 minutes taming my ass. Says it'll take seven mutton on three times taming. A level 130 RG, it'll take 15 minutes and take seven mutton. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that, but we're going to put some more mutton in him. He wants his lamb chops. He's getting it. Well, shit, there we go. And the answers are in. Health, 29 points. That's high. Stam, very high, 33 points. Weight is high, 30 points. And then 59 points in melee. What is it with these absolute just Mike Tyson of flyers that we've been getting. But high health, very high stam, and high weight. I'll take it. That's all that matters. For a 130, I'm more than happy. Got ourselves a saddle. Let's go ahead and take him for a quick little fly around. And then probably just going to go ahead and end the video here. I will go ahead and... Oh, I forgot you can craft on an RG. I forgot about that. Anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and fly him around, do a little bit of power leveling on him, and do a little bit more cleanup and a little bit more farming maybe, but I pretty much know where I want to do the base. Um, I want to be, well, I'll just save it for next episode. Be kind of shocked, you guys. We'll just head out into the middle of nowhere and you guys just along for the ride. But yeah, here we are. The start to a new journey. Already got an RG. First episode, that's pretty dang good. But anyway, I think we're going to end it here. I'm going to do some more farming, like I said, and put some levels on this guy so we can carry the entire kitchen sink with us. So I can have as much with me as humanly possible. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the comeback. The great return, the reunion, whatever you want to call it. We're back. We're in it. So happy to be back enjoying every second of it but if you guys did enjoy the video please like comment subscribe all that good stuff we just hit a thousand subs right before the break so it's good to kind of get back up and we'll actually be able to get monetized so there we go that's always good i won't be making much <laughs> be making sense on the videos but at the same time that was my goal forever so Thank you guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. March winds and April showers.